They just run. Still in my big shop and still loving it. I'm going to make a game call out of a piece of pear that a storm blew down the tree. So let me look. It's just a branch out of the tree to cut it off. It's about the right size for a game call, about the right diameter. I'm going to make it round and smaller in diameter on one end so I can get it in my cheesy chuck jaws I got. I need to get another chuck. Anyway, so I'm going to mount it on the chuck once I get it round and then drill a half inch hole through the middle of it and then put it on my mandrel and turn it into a game call. So y'all stick with me. It's going to be fun. I've been having a great time here and uh, we'll get started. All right, so I got it squished between centers, and I got a spur drive on this end, and then a live wheel on this end. And this thing falls apart if you take any pressure. I need to get another one of these, too. Anyway, so I'm just going to spin it up, make it round, and then uh, put it in these jaws, which I hate, and uh, drill it. So let's get started. See what I mean? <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I need probably just need another one of them too. <laughs> My drill bit is dull. Well, I'm having a rough time of it. <laughs> Think I got it. All right, finally. Had to get another drill bit. <laughs> but I got it drilled, so I'm gonna take this off, put my mandrel on, and we'll be good. my half inch mandrel. This should fit on there and it does. I'm going to just tighten up that screw. Now I can work. Get it almost exactly like I want it and then I can switch it around and do the other side. Turning. So let me get a, a screw to put on the back side here so it doesn't come out and uh, we'll work it. Let's do this. Okay, slight little problem. So my dull drill bit wallowed out this side of the hole. 
so it wouldn't allow me to get it fully tightened on so I went ahead and put it back in the jaws and I'm going to finish the bell in because this part is tight and it will work on the mandrel because I done checked it so I had the mandrel tightened up pretty far but it doesn't take that much to grip this side so I'm going to finish the bell in then turn it around put it back on the mandrel <clears throat> and I should be able to finish it so far so good so let's bell it out and see what happens Problem is fixed. shape I'm not finished with this end but I'm gonna sand the bell end out flip it around and that way I can make the mouthpiece and then I can sand the whole thing so here we go shape I want. It's got a little bit of character in it, but <laughs> you know me. I'm going to torch it. Bring pop that grain a little more. This is pear, and there's some good looking swirls in there, but I think I just need to pop it out a little bit more. So let's do that. I got me some of this for free. <laughs> so I'm going to try it out. It's grittier than my stuff, so it ought to work. But we'll do it. We'll see what happens. All right. I'm 
Now it's sanded to 320. It feels grittier, a lot grittier than my stuff. There. Wow, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's spin it up. Ooh! Whoa! Yeah! I like that. Hey, I just made me made one out of a coat hanger. Maybe too big around. We'll see. big around. Oh well. It looked good enough. Alright, let's try this polishing paste. And uh, came with the deal. So, I'm going to use it. Got a little bit of character in it. It did bring out a little bit of it. Right. Ooh, sweet. <laughs> yeah. Pretty. Now this next part's super easy. Put the little reed in the middle of it. I put a few coats of that on there and I'll be back. Alright, so there it is. No reed in the middle yet, but there will be. Alright, so here's the reed, and it's a JC25. No, it ain't. It's a 16. So you put the sleeve on it, just a little cover up, and then you smash it down through this gasket, I guess you could call it. Now this part here is uh, tough sometimes, so let me wiggle that on there off camera, because it's a pain, <laughs> but it'll go. It just takes a while, so let me go do that. All right, I got it started, so let me push it the rest of the way on. Now, so this is the mouthpiece. So you want the reed pointing at your lips. You just place it in there and use your tube to squish it down in there. Yes. Go, 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 go. A little further. Got it. All right. Let's see if it works. It 
does. Alright. Well, that was a fun weekend. So here's the one I just made. And then, off camera, I made this one. This out of a piece of U. And this is a piece of spalted tamarind or some stuff. But it's got some pretty cool lines in it. But, great weekend. Uh, sadly, tomorrow i got to go home. So, uh, thanks for sticking with me. And y'all have a safe new year. And have a great day.